Will you still love me? <laughs> it's dangerous to run around here, boys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, we're picking up fine, huh? Sounds like we're picking up fine anyway. Let me know if you're there, and I can get started. Don't know why that sounded so jaunty when I said get started, but it did. It's gonna have to accept it. We will, of course, be carrying on the story. Where last time, if you recall, Diane managed to get murdered, and so soon after her sister Becky as well. She was still alive for a bit until she started babbling psychotic nonsense and uh, without a tongue as well. And well, yeah, York had managed to save her. All seemed well, but then. Big art installation fell over impaling her, or presumably squashing her completely, actually. Never mind being impaled. Didn't look like it was going to be a fun mess to clean up. Kaysen was there, bizarrely, who had been apparently doing the business with her until she locked him in a basement. Or so he says. Not only that, but, uh, well... Everybody was a wee bit depressed after everything, so we had a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart with George. He told us about how his mum used to savagely beat him. Ouch. And then we heard a wee bit more about York's past, which was surprisingly tragic. As well as a little bit of Emily's past. And she came to see us, but even though it was the middle of the night, it was all sweet and innocent. But today is a new day. So let's resume the game, shall we? And so we're on to episode 3 now. Previously during the investigation. We may as well see this. find out everything there is to know about Diane. York, Nick is reading the bar. Wait! She's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. Under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Emily, hurry! You saved my life. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. Yeah, I think I gave a better recap than the actual game did there. I'm sure there were some evocative images. This is Tea Break. Episode 14. And first of all, I'm going to turn the music back up a wee bit because we're not here in Yankee, is it? So I feel like the music's completely permitted in any other situation other than having to hear that racing mini game music. What about the sound effects if I did again? Keeping the voices obviously up to the maximum volume. So we got doors. Doors in a dream world. You have to go through a door. Huh. Well. Hey, there's a bush near this one. I think this is a follow the bushes kind of thing, isn't it? That would be my guess. Oh, 
Or is it always to the right? There's an item here. Hey, we got a card. Thank God, actually. I could have really easily missed the card there. Give me two seconds. Sorry about that. Just getting myself properly prepared again. Anyway. I'm not sure why a desk randomly appeared there. Because it's gone now. And again, the only thing I can think to track is the bush. Although it's always to the right, so I could be making the wrong guess. If it was a Zelda thing, you know, that would be different every time. It's the only one with the bush, though. Yeah, okay. That's strange. Who the hell is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> York also agrees. Who the hell is this person? Very on York to think that way. Open this door. There is no turning back. You still want to enter? And he's got funny things on his neck, like, uh... Is it Henry? Um... Or do I have to? I guess we have to. Open this door. I do. Uh... It's better than staying here. Very well then. Off you go, Mr. Oh. This is what he was just telling Emily about. His dad Look, had murdered his mother. Here. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Yeah, I was thinking she looked a bit like one of those shadows. Is York's mom a scary shadow now? Or was it all a bad dream? He only uses one pillow? Hmm. That's the vilest carpet. Oh, there's a seal. Mr. Morgan, do you want a refill? Yes, thank you. Is the coffee that <laughs> good, Mr. Morgan? Coffee is a vital investigative tool. I know exactly what to do now. Do you see it? As if the dream last night didn't tell him. says to hurry, and the first letter of each line is H-A-R-R-Y. Hurry to Harry. Looks like the time that he was talking about has come. Let's go pay the problematic rich boy who owns half of the town a visit. Polly, I think I'm going to go see Harry today. 
Oh, really? He's a little strange, but I think he's the most trustworthy one around here. I think you'll have fun with huh. him. If you say so, Polly, then we probably will. Of course. Now, give me your cup, and I'll give you some more coffee. I'll see you later, Polly. Mr. Morgan, what about the coffee? Don't you want a refill? Your coffee! She did want a refill. She does have a point. Well, god damn it. I haven't had fortune telling coffee yet. Give me my fortune telling coffee. Relax, get a breath of fresh air. Lucky color, white. The hair of one of my co-workers turned completely white overnight due to stress once. Relaxing might be a good idea. Well, I got enough fortune telling coffee for now. And now I'm stuck behind a table. Good, good God. So, there's bloody casing out there. Ugh. No way I can avoid him. I'd really rather not have to deal with casing, but I guess needs and musts, huh? Hey, am I still a suspect? No. Okay, well, good. My wife and I have been living separately for over three years now. Diane, she's a single woman, so this shouldn't be a problem. That's true. I feel so bad for Diane, though. Gosh, did, did you find out who did it? I can't discuss that. Yes, of course, I, I understand. You don't have to tell any of the folks around town about me and Diane, do you? No, I won't do that. But it's a small town. I'm sure the rumors have started already. Nothing to be ashamed of, right? What's there to worry about? Nothing in particular. No, nothing at all. I I'm clean. As clean as the That's sheets in this combo hotel. Today? Yeah. What's with that look? We don't have a problem, right? It looks like Kaysen is involved with another woman in town. We can only hope it isn't Emily. Huh. That wouldn't have been what I would have thought after that little exchange, but fair enough. Check the weather. Oh, it's a whole day today. Okay. Oh, I forgot that we actually got a reward for checking the weather. Nothing in the microwave anymore. We'll see if that disgusting fuck has anything else to say. Hello. You. I can take a walk, right? I'm not leaving town, don't worry. I didn't really call that info York. York must like make the most extravagant like oh, business expenses hi. claims in work. What can I do for you, Mr. Morgan? Well, we want to buy shit. Just hold on a moment then. Now, what do we want? Well, cigarettes are always handy to have, even if they cost you like, you know, a hundred dollars. Do you have any good food? Huh. I guess I could get three of those just to be sure. You never know when you're gonna need them. Well, the food selection's a bit shit. I don't know if we've ever had chocolate before, but now her selection's very poor. See me after class. Jesus Christ. That's really bizarre that it's as highly rated as it is. You know, 
I'm definitely willing to accept that it's an all right album. It's just not one that I'm going to enjoy ever. It's not my kind of music. York, I can't find Thomas. Was he here? No, I haven't seen him. Have you tried the radio? I've been trying, but he's not answering. What about Nick? No problem with him. He's calmed down a little. He's still saying he didn't do it. Nick said that Thomas disappeared sometime during the night. He kept calling for him, but Thomas stopped responding. I I'm a bit worried. George has That's asked strange. for permission to search for Thomas. I understand that things have been hard for Thomas, but surely he's just resting at home. Uh, but I'm not against looking for him. Tell George that he has my blessing. Okay. As far as I know, Thomas always calls in when he needs a day off. We're human, and so we are limited. As far as you know, there haven't been any serial killings here before, right? That's right, but that's not... Emily, I'm going to see Harry today. What? Why? We have plenty of other leads to follow, don't we? He did invite me over, though. It would be bad manners not to accept. Are you really an FBI agent? I think the FBI would take a more logical approach to investigations. But Emily, a serial killer does not stay within the boundaries of logic. Thus, you can't hope to capture such a killer using only logic. That's why I'm going to see Harry. You go with George and find Thomas. Okay, sounds like a plan. Great, thanks. The colors, so weird. Ugh, I was an idiot for thinking he might be a good pick. I really need to work on my taste in men. Poor Emily. Is that a deliver ploy on York's part there? Hard to say, isn't it? He's a tough cookie to figure out, is our York? Well, if Thomas isn't there, then Thomas isn't likely to make us any food. Oh, god damn it. Well, there's no color adjustment, so the game just looks that weird. How, how strange. So if the red line on the right turns black. Ah. But that doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Definitely doesn't seem like it's too bright. Like, since we're going up to George's, it would be brilliant to have York's car if it didn't play Yankee Egypt. So, instead, we will drive a rocking car. First thing I'm actually going to do, believe it or not, is go to the prison. See how next day and after we left. Bit of an overcast day, they never turn me on. Zach, we've ended up with the third victim. That dive I made at the gallery ended up being a wasted attempt to save a life. It's a real mess, Zach. the last time I made a dive like that. Oh, I remember. Do you? It was in my late teens. We used to go to those concerts. You and I like punk rock, but we like different types of punk. You liked hard and heavy punk, like Crash and Sham 69. I like the more <laughs> twisted ones, like the Damned, Buzzcocks, Iggy Pop, and Joy Division. We used to talk yeah. for hours about the bands we really liked. But for some reason, neither of us listened to the Sex Pistols. I, I agree. Wonder why that was. It seems strange thinking about it now. 
Oh, definitely won't have another conversation with music. You want a balloon? Zach, did you want to go somewhere before we visit Harry? That's fine by me. I can't imagine New York Sky uh stage diving, you know. But I guess he must have. So, I don't know if we're able to get lunch here anymore without How can we have lunch if we have no Thomas? The creature isn't here. I did sit I had to sit through a long meeting in one of these. Well Yeah, I guess that would stink. But yeah. Even though it is lunchtime in the stations, there's nowhere to get lunch. No one's making it. Times are hard. Times are hard in Greenville. New York loves a free lunch too. Ah! Hey! Maybe I can go get lunch with Emily instead. I'm dressed all business, though. I feel like I should be dressed more pleasure. Well, actually, that doesn't sound appropriate at all, does it? Is this where I can change my clothes? No. There's definitely a room in here where you can change your clothes. Or is it downstairs? Ah, there's a room close to the kitchen, so I totally oversteered my mark. The other police officers just never get away with them. So, what kind of look are we going to go for today? I think we're going to go back to deep play. It's nice. Ah, oh, that doesn't even need clean. But we're nicely shaven. We're making a good impression, even though Emily's just openly admitted that she had no idea why she was ever interested in poor old York. He is kind of crazy. <sighs> you're really going to see Harry? I have no idea what you're thinking at a time like this. But you know, Thomas is still missing. What should we do for lunch? Why don't you make it for us? Yes! Me? Well, okay, I'll try. I've never seen this before. I thought about ordering oh, dinner, dear. What's with the face? I think my cooking turned out pretty good today. Oh, okay, great. A sudden crisis. What should I do, Zach? I might not be a wonder chef like Thomas, but I do practice every day. We know. We helped you. Well... <laughs> come on, tell it to me straight. Emily. Yes? What? I went into the sewer once during an investigation. Okay, just stop right there. <laughs> I'm feeling drowsy. Is it something I ate? Oh dear. Oh dear. Can't be that bad, right? Oh dear. Well. I guess York feels like Emily should get arrested for that cooking, but uh, we're not that jerky, are we? You have a torch in your eyes. It's the torch in your eyes song. Oh, he's definitely got the torch in his eyes. This person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. That's our murderer. Controlling York is so peculiar, but hey, somebody's in prison. Let's see him. It's nasty Nick Cotton. 
Hey, Nick. Happy that you've got your man? No, no. I'm not, I'm not your man. I'm just a suspect. Nick. I didn't do it. Actually, I believe you. But until we catch the real murderer, you're going to remain a prime suspect. What's going to happen to me then? Never mind. You're probably going to get bummed by Don't that guy. Don't worry about Olivia. You. How's she doing? Come on, say something. I can't tell you anything. If that's the case, could could you hand her a letter, please, Agent? You don't mind me inspecting it first? Oh, that's fine. Only this once, Nick. Thank you. Thanks. Huh. Well, York does love a good arm. Tell her I'm sorry, will you? Nick, you need to do that, not me. Of interesting lighting choices uh, choices here. <laughs> so, Nick in prison has asked you to take a letter to Olivia for him. Uh, he's holed up at home, so take letter to Nick here. And I just realized the title hasn't updated on here. So I'm going to quickly change the title. I swear to God, the 360 is the shittest for correctly editing your titles. That should be it now. Click a refresh, and away we go. Has it updated? It hasn't fucking updated, has it? Sweet Jesus Christ. That's better. That's the correct title for our little adventure. Last time we were down here was to find squirrel keys. Do you remember? So we're going to have to find out where Lily actually lives and give her this letter. I suppose first of all though we should have a wee peek at the letter. After all we're nosy. We're the FBI. We can get away with this kind of thing. You know, national security. All that. That's how it works. Ah, we can't actually read it. Not that much. I'm genuinely impressed that the... Emily's cooking is apparently so bad, even though, you know, she's got a couple of lessons with us. Bury a skeleton. What on earth does that even mean? So Livy actually just lives right by us. That's great. I don't think we've actually been to there. Got some smooth driving right there. I think you'll find. Yeah, she's open. Not bad. Let's park Billy like that. Why does the car start revving when you're, like, you're shutting it off? Surely that makes no sense. But hey, this is Olivia's. Is she gonna let us in? Well, we got a tasteful picture of a doggo. What else have we got? Oh, an onion. I'm sure they won't mind. It's cheaper than like pan for a stamp. Kitchen's not bad. 
And I got a very 2D bottle of wine there. Oh no, it's actually a 3D one. I thought it was like one of those 2D images that was just gonna like rotate around and face you. It's just really pearly down. Nice. Well, we can't see much in your house. What's the magazine? True Woman! Ah. Everyone's favourite. And Danish. Danish? Is it a manish? Anyway. We'll give her the letter. What's this? Nick asked me to give it to you. It's a letter. From him to you. Nick wrote this? For me? Olivia. I'm sorry for all the trouble I am causing you. I'm writing this letter because I need to tell you some things. Firstly, I'm sorry about meeting with Diane without telling me. My actions were irresponsible and may have caused you to misunderstand. But I swear to God I was not cheating on you. And I didn't kill Diane. That's what I wanted to tell you. As I sit here in this cell, all I can think about is you. Don't worry about keeping the diner open, okay? Try to eat well, too. I had thought that this happiness we had would just go on forever. I've always been grateful to you. But I've never told you, have I? I used to think that putting it into words made it sound cheap. But at times like these, words are all we need. Thank you I'm the Bee Gees for everything. Agree. Once I get home, I'll make it up to you. Take care of yourself. I love you. Nick. <laughs> She'd done a really good Nick impression there. Um, Agent. Could you wait a moment, please? I want to write a reply. Sure. Go ahead. Thank you. Jeez, are we just like fucking letter boys now? Zach, I hope Nick will I'm feel better by this. Paper. do just that. We're gonna give Nick a little peace of mind hopefully by giving him this letter. Because apparently we are now mailmen. Oh. The FBR are still obligations so they should be right. So, we're going to get back into the station. Deliver ourselves a letter. Giving Sally some food. And she's gone completely off the rocket. Anyway, time to deliver a letter. That's what we do now for a living. Well, Nick's just here again, so I'll deliver that letter, I guess. Mm -hmm. Did you give her the letter? Sure did. 
It's I wonder if he can Olivia. do a good impression of her. From Olivia? What the? I wrote so much. More than I'd, I'd ever actually say. A lot more than this. And she writes me only three lines back. Not enough for you? Oh, no, no, it's, it's more than enough. She wrote as much as she could. That's the best she could do right now. Yeah, three powerful lines. I believe in you. I'll wait for you. I'm sorry. I, I don't agree with the last one, though. I'm the one who has to apologize. Do you feel a little better now, then? Just wait until the case is finished. I promise this will all come to an end. Yeah. I, I know, I, I believe you. She's believing in me, too, and waiting for me. Well, I have to be going. Now hold, hold on a minute. Hey, we got a key to the diner? What's this? The key to the back door of the diner. There's a big bag in the kitchen. I don't know if you could use it, but consider it yours. You'll have to help yourself to it, of course. I, I can't exactly go with you. Okay. I'll take this, and I'll go check it out. Looks like oh. a return to better things for those two, eh, Zach? Did he just say that because it's like the mission title? Alan's big bag. We're gonna get our very own big bag. Uh, how bizarre. Well, I'm really bad at flicking between things, apparently. You can't see I'm getting quite the way through the side quest. There's two with Keith. In fact, I could go get one of those now. On my way up the Harry, potentially. How about that? They're all card quests. Yeah, okay. Other than like a uh, Nightmare World replays, we're pretty much all up to date with the side quest once we clear this one. After that, it would just be handing in baseball cards too, which means doing these awful chapter replays, which I think I'm going to do off stream if I do them at all, just because it's literally seeing me go through the combat sequences again and kind of, kind of wishing I was dead. Don't think that's unfair. Unfair to say. So you know what? We're gonna work because why not? It means we don't have to run around the corner to get a new car. Let's teleport ourselves over to the A and G diner. Here we are at the diner. It's closed. Thankfully, we can let ourselves in via the back door, as he just told us. He already had the key to this here yard anyway, thanks to Olivia. It's annoying when he sometimes doesn't run through the door because it takes him so long to open it otherwise. Probably shouldn't try to get in here. Well, you're gonna have to. I guess we'll use this door, huh? Does it actually say anything real on the back of that door? Here we are. In the diner. A little sad to be in here without it. Without anyone able to get any sweet food. All the customers. There's a flare? They kept an emergency flare back here? I mean, I'm glad. Don't get me wrong. It's just kind of weird. This must be it like here, the item bag. If you could use it. But, Zack, this is great. We'll be able to carry more items now, Zack. A 
bags that will let you hold more items. Well, ain't that fantastic. That's the end of that side quest. So if we're being the mailman, or the mailman, rather, we can now hold more items. Not really amazing. Nothing else we can really do in here. And we can't let ourselves out the front door because that would raise too many questions, apparently. See? A sweet guitar up there on the wall. And the bathroom that we can't use. I don't know why York has such an aversion to bathrooms in this. Anyway, we'll teleport up to the mother barn for now, shall we? So we can get a side quest there. Let's get ourselves a side quest. Oh, we should get like a lovely disgusting looking turkey sandwich. In here. Let's talk to Keith. Dancing away. Back Yo, in the hole. dude. York, what's up? We're gonna buy. You're the shop, right? Just hold on, man. He's really bummed out, I'll have to disclose, because he thinks somebody's stolen his guitar. I'm not giving him that cu guitar back until the end of the game. Okay. It takes 3,000 to get this second spiritual map, but we're going to go get it. You blah, blah, pretend I can speak. We're going to go ahead and get that. So it's a side mission, and he tells us a spooky story. So of course we want that. Hey, man. This map shows a station along the abandoned Extended Lines track. Now that was a busy place back when the lumber trade was big. No one goes near it now, you know. Back it's in like the hole. A, a and even the finger gesture? On top of that, some folks say they've even seen ghosts there. I don't mean one or two ghosts, man. I mean like hundreds. Every now and then, a golden opportunity comes along. Like a chance to leave home for a while and earn a lot of money. There were plenty of them at the end of the 80s. Where is that the lumber light? mill was severely short-handed, so they called in a lot of outside workers. But the place was failing, and indeed it died before most of the poor guys got there. So there was like a load of labor workers that had nowhere to go. No place to work. No way to get back to where they came from. A fair amount of them decided to live on the train they had rode in on. I guess that must have been hard living. Living on a train car that ain't moving. What kept them in town? Ah, now. The head of the lumber mill had been lying to them. Wait just a little longer. We'll have work for you soon. You know, that kind of thing. He was just a lying scumbag. No way to rock, man. But lies, <laughs> they only last so long. With each day that passed, those unemployed guys got more angry. But then, something happened. And the timing for it was incredible. The rail car they were spending the night in just happened to catch fire. With all them inside it. Incredible timing indeed. Oh yeah, but the police couldn't find any evidence to pin it on anyone. They didn't have all those gadgets and stuff you guys got now. And the police were annoyed the unemployed guys were causing trouble. Nothing happened to the head of the lumber mill. It made the news as an accident. Hmm. But the rumor says that a large number of those boys are still living in that train car. Unaware that they're dead. You better be careful, <laughs> Mr. FBI, if you go down there by yourself. <laughs> Well, that's the side quest. Scene of a railway accident is marked on a suspicious map purchased from Keith at the milk barn. So, they want us to go clear out that challenge. 
I think I'm gonna be wrong. Thanks a lot, bro. Hey, that's Richard. How's it going, man? I like this shop because they have pretty much everything I need. Lily well, sure has got her act together running this place. That's that's some real top information. Thank you. Is Lily here? I want to buy something decent. And Keith doesn't have anything decent. I want a turkey sandwich. Ah, oh, come on, man. Where's your wife? Oh, Keith, you suck balls. Like, totally doesn't know where he's going, man. So, somewhere on the map nearby is the next psychic spot. Where is that railway track? Uh, it's down here. So if we were to teleport to, let's say, the diner. I think that's the nearest place. Yes. Let's just teleport there. Then I'll ride our way down to fight more ghosts. Ooh. You know, I love his voice. I thought his voice was the best, at least. He, like, totally always talks like that, man. It's gnarly. Okay, let's get a decent car and get on the road. Holy shit. It's down here, isn't it? To the left? Oh, no, I'm already caught. Oh. That was a bad effort. This rate, my pot is going to get cold. Plus one band that we both liked. We went all the way to New York to see them play. Right, Zach? It took us hours to get to New York by bus. We got to the CBGB and we were so nervous we couldn't go inside. It took us 30 Aww. minutes to gather enough courage to go inside. And inside, we were shocked. Right, Zach? We'll never forget that feeling. It was like a Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg pop. The remote. That song still makes me feel good. That's a sign of a classic. But it's amazing I got in without being asked for ID. Those were the good old days. Rock and roll high school and Chinese rock. Sheena is a punk rocker and surfing bird. And I was so depressed when I heard the news of the deaths. Original punk is one of the greatest gifts left from the 20th century. Let's hope they're still rocking on wherever they are. <laughs> oh dear. Level. <laughs> That's the famous paranormal place they talked about. Maybe I should give it a shot. Okay. I'm not a big Ramones guy, but I think it's cute that York is. Oh shit, he's got a gun. Get lost. Oh shit. You see, these guys are a bit stronger down here. Oh, I did. Way stronger, in fact. Fix her while to realize she's dead. Oh shit! She's not dead, that's why. This is less than I did. Apparently these aren't packing the wallet they ought to be. Well, only one thing for it in that situation.
Well. Shit, he takes quite a few shots. I think this is from the strongest gun. I thought it was And it's still her. They're all dead now, though. That's a plus. Even the guitar can't kill them in a couple of hits. You know you're in trouble then. This is where the bodies of all these unemployed people are trying to you. And they're mostly setting themselves on fire and dying. Which is quite handy. Not sure if that was supposed to be threatening or not. But it was at least amusing. <laughs> Oh no, he's got a shotgun. There he goes. He's got a fucking pickaxe. Holy shit. Die, everybody! Yeah, homeless buns, whether you're dead or not. You gotta get out of here. All was whining about not wanting to die. You're already dead. Also, no can stop. Oh. oh no, you know what that means, don't you? One of these fuckers. But that's okay. We can do what we need to do. Bail it out again. Long goes to the side wall was right. Carry on. Dead fetus or not, just gotta go on. Bill <laughs> guitar. Guitar is so handy. Hey. That's a sword! Never had a sword before. Well, more of these bums. You keep your shotgun to yourself, boy. Oh, he's just caught me with it. That's cheeky. Oh, she's gonna shank us. Yep, that's not so good. Love, please. Very dangerous. Kill somebody very Ah, the nurse. Bedside minor is terrible. Crazy. They all gone crazy. Oh, this one's still alive over here. Hey, you. Oh. That was a bit stinky. 20 off me, but uh, that's dead now. Should be able to go through here. 
Oh no, they're still in the kill apparently. Wherever they may be. They're hiding pretty well wherever they are. Uh, can you fit in more effort? Oh, okay, he says. Spotted by the guy. Well. That should be us free now. Grit? Come for me through the fire. That's all the laugh. Oh no! Crap on the pubs over here. Very cheeky. But no, we're still not done yet. We're not done until we get the encounter. Anyway, and down he goes. Yeah, ma. I'm tempted to try using the sword. Come on, buddy. I like, so much the hardest just by walking in our vicinity. It's so locked. God oh, damn it. I'm not sure where the last is. That sort of sign of the door I'm locking right now. Actually. Give it a go. It's one of these again. Sign there. I assume we're further than the car. Right? Yeah. Okay. No. Can't carry any more first aid kits. Oh, I met him pretty handy with a guitar, huh? Oh my god, are you here again? Seriously? That's a bit the legendary worm. Taking another one of those. Hopefully this will be the last one. Going on forever this time. He's just part of this device. There's another guy who's just set himself on fire. Pickaxe. Not everybody here. Right, you're getting sued. And as you can see, it's not very durable. And our guitar actually is better at killing them. 
Who'd have thought? Guess just some guitars are felt better. Um, not really so much. You do find out about them though. Believe it or not, they're not just here for weirdness sake. There must be one that I'm missing. Ah, uh, here we are. Those are. Die! Die! This looks like the boss room. Oh no, that was the boss room. Okay. We're done. What we get for our troubles is an unlimited shotgun. Nice. You know, I don't know if I've ever really used a shotgun in this game. That was the terrible, terrible bonus ghost quest thing. They're kind of pointless. But it's completed. Yeah, that's another side quest done. It's mainly worth doing just to hear Keith's goofy stories more than anything. And what we're going to do is teleport our asses up to the milk barn, which should be the closest location to Harry's, unless Harry's is now appearing on the map. Which it isn't. So... Oh, we can go to Nick and Quint's house. Well, I guess they're closer still. Now, on the map, there is no way to actually tell what happened to Thomas. He does seem to have disappeared, and he's certainly not showing up in his housing complex, which is down there. So instead, we're going to take our car and go up and see old man Harry. Guy in the wheelchair, see what he's up to. It's time to burn. You losers better learn. No one controls our goddamn lives. And this is some very responsible drive. So, Zach, about Emily. My first impression oh. when we met her on that bridge is slightly different from what I think about her now. Don't you think she's pretty mesmerizing? And Zach, she seemed interested in you. Did you make a move on her? No, don't answer. I'm <laughs> just asking. But if you like her, I won't stand in your way. But I'd like to hear the truth. Because this kind of stuff could affect our friendship, you know. Me? <laughs> I'm just interested in her, that's all. She doesn't love or anything. From what I can tell, she doesn't even seem to like me. It's pretty clear from how Aww. she acts when she's around me. As you know, Zach, I'm cautious with women. It's because I was badly burned in my last relationship. I really have no Aww. idea what women are thinking. That's my problem. You're pretty friendly with the ladies, aren't you, Zach? <laughs> Maybe you should teach me about how to interact with women. You know what? I wish I had a Zach to teach me how to interact with women, too. Mm -hmm. This is the way up to Harry's mansion. Probably last time. Gets for opening that. I guess I'm coming. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. And we've actually teleported all the way up into Harry's mansion, believe it or not.
Now you can imagine being the guy that owns practically the whole town. Mr. Francis, Francis are going to be pretty fancy. Mr. Stewart has fancy, been waiting fancy, for you. Jesus. To the meeting room you shall go to. The meeting room is through here. Please be kind. Be sincere. Well, okay. He's practically devoid of expression. You'd almost think he was a robot. Is it his ideals as a servant, or is there another reason? Yes. Mr. Francis York Morgan, the timing is now to meet Mr. Stewart. You shall be kind and be alert. The timing is now and not tomorrow. If you miss it, you'll feel sorry. So until your meeting is finished, I shall be locking the front door. If you get tired or become famished, please, what we, uh, what we have, please use as yours. That's fairly awkward, that last one. His rhyming gets a little tenuous, it would seem. Yeah, what is that about the piano? Just a mundane piano. What do you think, Zach? Well, we just seen that it must be a magic rotating piano. But here we are. There's symphony number three, Reuter. Then there's Fate and Pastorale. Of the multitude of musical scores, these three are the only ones left open. If Harry did this, it must have meaning. Yeah. Well, I sure as shit don't, don't know what it means. Here we are. I'm guessing this must be the meeting room, given our target thing bouncing there. Oh, it's locked. That's weird. Uh, Harry, you want us to meet you, right? Ah, uh, here we are. Hang on a minute, what? Carvel, he apparently looks like it was meant to hold something. A Springfield rifle, perhaps? Statue, and uh... Yeah, this one apparently also looks like it might be meant to hold a rifle. Well, we don't have any rifles. Statue of a cavalry trooper. Wonder what secrets it holds. Well, we can only observe them, so... Bit weird. Harry invites us over and then locks us out of his room. And Thomas locks the front door as well on us, so it's very social behaviour. Well, I guess since we're here we can have a shave, right? our extra for shaving. An umbrella for guest room number one? Okay. Reed's drawing room. The door's locked, but there's no keyhole. Could there be another way to open it? Well, you'd certainly like to think so, wouldn't you? Is it to do with umbrellas? There's an umbrella for guest room number four, anyway. It's nice the way it gives all the guests their own umbrella. I definitely don't do that. Well, I guess I'll take the umbrella. No point shaving in every room. So hang on, it's going to be something to do with that symphony score, isn't it? Let's check that one out again and see what it was trying to imply. There's three dudes, right? So, symphony number three. Then five, then six. Is 
three, five, six that we currently have. Five. We need three, five, and six. Okay, let's try try and find these guest rooms then. That's guest room one then. Two. This must be three. Right? And then logically six must be on the other side. So oh, what the hell is Harry playing at? Is this normal behavior in rich people's houses? I've, I've been in the rich people's houses before. I don't recall them ever having like puzzles. Yep. Maybe they'll come alive and do a top routine. So, about it too last night. I do have a question of why they started to play that song while the leper thing was like throwing up in Ed's face. It was very strange. It was like just two split seconds of like Angel of the Morning while it was like puking in the face and it was like, huh, was that supposed to be comedy? Anyway, looks like we've opened the door. Magic umbrellas are the way to go. This better be worth it, Harry. You odd chap. What's with that mask? Guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Ah, tea. Good call. Mr. Francis York Moore, please have some tea while it is hot. Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. You seem well prepared. Almost as though you knew I would be coming today. Mr. Stewart is particular about the best timing for all things. Now please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry, but I just don't like tea. Mr. Francis York Moore, some tea with sugar is what's best in mind. By your body that looks so tired, so says Mr. Stewart. Harry, where did you get these seeds? Francis York Moore, those seeds were found in our town in a certain specific place. More seeds are there you will see when you find that certain space. Come back to me and we shall talk after you find that certain place. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, so you would like to play games? Mr. Francis York Moore, a hint for you to find this location. It is most cramped and most quiet, and gives a cold sensation. So says Mr. Stewart. Alright, so you're not 
going to talk unless I find this certain place. I'll play it. So. Harry being a bit fucking weird as normal. Putting it mildly. Where could the location be, do you think? Treasure hunt begin. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zach? be the graveyard. There's lots of people there, but none of them can speak. You see? So let's get going to the graveyard. Well. Red Seed. graveyard. Believe it or not, we were teleported all the way down the hill from Harry's then. I'd love to know what's on map. I don't think I've ever taken it before. So I'm gonna have a wee check now. Just to see if there's anything of any significance. I don't think there is here. Oh I just looked at that. That was the road that aroused. Instead, this here, I guess it's a back entrance to Harry's, is it? It's hard to tell. It's all warded off anyway, and you can't go there. So I guess we'll be talking to York instead. Anyway, Zach, there aren't many young women left in this town. Even Emily could be targeted next. We can't rule that out. All the more reason to catch the raincoat killer ASAP. And that means working closely together. We can work out the Emily situation later. Don't get me wrong, Zach. I mean, I'm not interested in Emily because she's female or anything. I'm just saying she's <laughs> interesting. You know, as in interesting person. But by looking at her, she reminds me of something I used to feel. That's all. Like back when I first met you. You know, that feeling we all used to feel back when we were kids. Feeling safe while also feeling the need to protect. That kind of thing. But Zach, who made me feel that back then? Anyways, we're getting closer one step at a time to cracking this case. I have a feeling it's going to get tough. Well, feelings we thought we'd forgot. Feelings we not felt for. I think we've all had those before. You never notice there's a red tree near George's. You know, I'm gonna head to the junkyard. I'm getting a new car. Let's see what kind of car we can pick up. Oh, we'll park this one gracefully. Zach, we're supposed to play along this little game, remember? I know. I'm with you on that. I don't like being played with either. But we've got three victims now. We need to prevent that number from becoming four. Ah, uh, there you are. Well, he's gonna have that same old conversation. So we could get Diane's car. That's a bit shit. Thomas's car? Hmm. Handles well. Usha's car? Oh, yeah. Kirsten's car? I am not buying Kirsten's car. Keith's car? Rockabilly car? 
Oh, we got Lily's crap wagon. Next crap wagon. It's apparently a sports wagon, but we're gonna go with the rockabilly car. Is that are you kidding? Yeah. Let's just say I am. Uh, All right. This is more like it. One E six seal. One E six seal. I'm not sure what he means by that. Thank you. Thought it was time for a change. This one's pretty rad. I'm gonna pick up Lucia's cars as well at some point. Rock a ball bagabilly. Just as Harry said, it's crowded and quiet. Did you bury a skeleton, Andrew? <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, Brian. Is this uh nice, nice? This is agent. Not, that's pretty good, like uh, Mr. Agent. How decoration. Oh, uh, not bad. I'm uh just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? <laughs> is that fun? We've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. And that one. And that one, too. All red seeds. Hey. This is seeming a little worrying. Uh, hi, Brian. Red, red seeds beyond the fence. I, I can't go get it. And unfortunately, Looks like our friends are here to meet us. You know what? It's real, he's got an unlimited shot. It's not the strongest. Magnum would logically be stronger. Oh, the signs are blocking our way now. Well, we went up to Harry's. Uh, he gave us a cup of tea. I was like, oh, would you like some sugar with that? We wanted some sugar, of course. But we weren't allowed any, for instead... Ah, oh, fuck. Get out of my mouth. But yeah, it turned out he had a cup full of red seeds, and he's like, you want to know more about the red seeds? You're going to have to go to somewhere that's both crowded, but quiet. And the orc is produced. This must be the graveyard. Besides not there, we mainly fought. I assume you missed the action-packed uh, psychic plot playthrough. Given well, nice and loads of tedious combat. And that's 
You did get to hear Kate's story about all the like dead people who got set fire to in a train track, right? There are enemies by the dozen here. So it definitely wasn't last time. Here we are. We're in the graveyard. Doesn't seem to be anything else here, but I just try and And these seeds. Good time to use that mic up key. Zach, mission accomplished. Let's get back to Harry's. The reward better be good. But you know, about these seeds. They were right here under my nose. It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water while walking in a pool. We're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zach. So, sorry about that. Tea is essential, obviously. Looks like all the weird undead have gone away. We still can't get out the front door. Brian, sort your ass out. Good thing we didn't get exploded by that arrow, huh? Nothing in here, unfortunately. You'd think there was something hidden there. So what did he say when he was getting the seeds there? I actually missed that. Five full dollars of our very own. Hey Brian, what's up you freak? Bad, bad seeds. I, I won't touch them. Hmm. So we've got Nick and bad seeds. All we need to give. And yeah, if we could. Might be better just to warp our way up there rather than do the drive up to Harry's. That's a long ass drive for anyone. And we haven't got the chance to teleport car, why not? Harry's mansion. Wow, what a mansion! Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. In the Harry's fun house we go. Mr. Francis York Morgan, please proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. There he awaits you, I shall assume.
another puzzle. 14, 23, 26. Three musical scores have been left open. Another of Harry's games. Just realized I didn't actually pay any attention. 14, 23, 26. God damn. This doesn't look that straightforward at all. As the map implies, that's locked. this door. Well, looks like we got ourselves another puzzle here. Statue of Cavalry Trooper. Looks like I might move along the grooves on the floor. Ah, it must be another one of these gimmicks. Well, that's a twenty. <coughs> Moving up to the twenty, right? <coughs> that apparently takes quite a bit to get more than one of the roofs. Somebody on twenty-three. This guy is on a six. So I guess we're just gonna move him over. And then all the way up to the twenty, I guess. This could be a lot of pushing. Not as bad as the 14, though. So we're going to need to get this guy along to the 4 and then push all the way up to the top. Oh, you're quite you doing This is presumably two. Why does Harry have his house set up like this? I mean, it looks like it would be a decent mansion otherwise. So, that's three, so it's the next one over after this. Grand. Harry, you got a sweet house, but seriously. You gotta stop doing this to your guests. Or maybe this is what I need to start doing to my guests. It's like leaving them riddles. Go for a piss. If you must. At first, you must gain. My trust. Take a crap through the bathroom door. But first there's a riddle you cannot ignore. So say, Mr.
odd and very Resident Evil. Looks like it's somewhere over this way. So let's head over this way. You know, as you suspect. Hey, this is nice. Yeah, okay, if I get a mansion, or you get a mansion, we'll get a puzzle installed. I think that's what we're learning anyway. Oh no, there's no need to litter. Harry, turns out what you said was true, and I'd like to hear more. Ah, Louise, you're going to have to have to stop now, aren't you're we? As you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town as well. <laughs> well, That's save right. after this cutscene, Louise. How do you know all this? York, you must be younger than you look. Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. What you need to do is slow this down a bit. That way you'll see what's really important. Let me tell you a story. Fifty years ago, when the war was over, just about when the communist red started to become threat, our town constructed a huge clock tower. Then, soon afterwards, a serial killer wearing a red raincoat went on a killing spree. The legend of the raincoat killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more than folklore. The FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. Anna, Becky, and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. The raincoat killer is also real. But under a strict gag order, the mass murder case was never made public. In fact, one could say that it was completely erased from history. Tell me, who do you think would be able to do something like that? Uh, the government. Rich people. The military. Yeah, the military. Yeah, Very I kind of put them under the government. But if there are no records about it, then how do you know it really happened? Good question, York. Why would I know this? The answer is very simple. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. But we can talk about the details of that encounter another time. What we need to talk huh. about is your raincoat killer. Not the old one. The real one. What you want to know more about is the new one. Between well, yeah, he's the one called the new one.
very fancy room. So you're saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town. That's interesting, Harry. But there's no evidence to support that story. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything like that. It's your job. This is all getting a bit suspicious, isn't it? Okay, it's worth a look. And we may as well let the old man have his fun. But, it looks like that's the moment we're ending it on, man. I don't much fancy doing chapter restreams on stream. Louise, you've got a scoot. So I can get started on making some food. I think I'm going to make some enchiladas in here. Just because they're easy enough Documents to make. Documents from a case that happened 50 years ago. Well, give Let's me a couple of hours, so for a I while. may be able to stream about 10 Zach, that or means we need to so head for the maybe sheriff's department. half nine. I could do a bit of uh, The Last of Us or something. Yeah, that'll do for next time. This time, we're going to be going to the Sheriff's Department. And as you see, the mystery's gotten deeper. And where did Thomas go? Is that remotely relevant to anything? Or is it just an excuse to screw up and have a lunch? Well, we'll find out. Apparently, I'll be enough. I'm just gonna drive a car into another car. Feels like the appropriate thing to do. This is the worst time to ever be driving. Sleep. Hopeless mm -hmm. car, you know? Mm -hmm. Crash! Anyway. <laughs> 